Hey guys, Nash here. So finally Android P developer preview number 4 is out for all table supported phones. And with this update, many bugs are fixed and they have increased stability. In this video, I will show you how you can install this ROM on any table supported phone. So let's get started. So guys android p developer preview number 3 had many bugs i just made a full review on that if you want you can watch that video in i button but with developer preview number 4 many bugs are fixed so first of all who can install this room any phone that supports project table officially or unofficially will be able to install this room easily and all the files are same for all the phones so you don't need to download specific files for your device now if you have already installed developer preview 3, you can dirty flash this ROM but I won't recommend that because then you won't have smooth experience and many bugs will be there. And that's why I prefer clean install. And now I'm going to install Android P on my Redmi Note 4 which is Snapdragon variant. So guys first of all you need to download all these files and as always everything will be in the description box below. And now it's time to boot into TWRP recovery, currently I'm using TWRP exclusive which supports Treble Roam. Link for that will be in the description box below. So once you are in TWRP recovery, make sure you take full Android backup in case anything goes wrong. And then go to wipe and perform factory wipe on your phone. And now we are going to install a base ROM. For base ROM you can use any Oreo Treble supported ROM. I already had Moki downloaded so I am going to install Moki Treble ROM on my phone. Now this room is based on Android Oreo. So once it's installed, go to mount tab and select vendor here. Now go to install tab, tap on install image and install this android p gsi file into your system. So once that is done, go to your install tab again and install this GSH file 1, 2, 3. Make sure you install them in order. And now tap on reboot and now you will have sweet sweet Android P. First boot might take around 5 to 10 minutes and if it takes more than that, Perform this installation again or just simply restore your Android backup. So guys this is how you install android p on any treble supported phone and if you want to ask me anything tonight at 8 pm i'm going to come live on instagram so make sure you follow me over there and you can ask me anything and tomorrow i'm going to make full review on this room and if you don't want to miss that video make sure you press the bell icon and guys like this video if you appreciate my work on this channel and that way you will help this channel grow further this is your friend Ness signing out and I will see you tonight at 8pm on Instagram. Ooh.